One of the most renowned kings of Africa is the legendary Mansa Musa Kaida I. Now, by 1235 AD, the Empire of Mali was established in Western Africa and became one of the most powerful and largest empires in history. The early years of the Empire of Mali saw the territory of the Empire of Mali expanded greatly, and by 1300 AD, the empire was doubled the size of previous African empires of Ghana. The Malayan ruler Sandiata Kaida was the first king to take on the title Mansa. Mansa is the Mandinkan word meaning sultan, king, or emperor. The powers of the Mansa include the right to dispense justice and to monopolize trade, particularly in gold. Numerous Malian kings followed and would continue to conquer and build the empire over many decades. The ninth king of the Empire of Mali was Mansa Abubakari II. This Malian king decided to embark on a voyage across the Atlantic Ocean to the Americas in 1311 AD, taking with him over 200 boats with men, water, gold, and enough supplies for several years. After the previous ruler Mansa Abubakari II departed for his voyage to the Americas, Mansa Musa eventually took his place. And so, Mansa Musa Kaida I came to power in 1312 AD. He is also known as the Lion of Mali. Mansa Musa Kaida I in fact held many titles, including Lord of the Mines of Wangara, Conqueror of Granada, and many others. Mansa Musa conquered 24 cities, each with surrounding districts containing villages and estates. Mansa Musa is also known in world history as the wealthiest man to have ever lived and an extremely devout and pious Muslim. The capital of the empire at this time was in the southwest in the city of Niani, which were very close to the gold-producing fields of Burr. The new king embarked on a campaign of eliminating the bandits of the countryside, and soon with safety firmly established, the efficiency of trade of Mali was greatly increased. Under the leadership of Mansa Musa, trade flourished and Mali expanded their production of copper from the mines of Takeda in the east of the kingdom. The Tagaza region north of the empire continued to generate salt in abundance. The cost of salt once transported to the capital of Mali was known to quadruple in price. Gold was mined at the region called Bambouk near the upper Senegal River, and at the time Mali produced almost half the gold in Africa, and the gold fields of Burr were also used. The currency of coinage of Mali was known as the Mithqua or Dinar, and was equivalent to 4.5 grams of gold. In addition to all of these activities, the great Mansa Musa would soon turn his energies to more spiritual and religious activities. Thank you.